In this video, we're going to be discussing how you can divide a whole number by a unit fraction. And a unit fraction is a fraction where one is the numerator. This first example, we have two divided by one half. So we're going to ask ourselves, how many halves are in two? So our first step is to draw fraction bars for the whole numbers. So I see our whole number is two. So we will draw two whole fraction bars. And then I'm going to divide my fraction bars into halves. Finally, we're going to count all the pieces that we now have in our two holes. And I see we have one, two, three, four pieces in our two holes, so two divided by one half equals four. Four would be our quotient. All right, so let's write down the steps that we just did for that example. The first thing we did was we uh, will draw a fraction bar for the whole number, so we drew two fraction bars. The next thing we did was we divided those fraction bars according to the fraction that is the divisor. And then you count all the pieces. So let's do two more examples. This one is five divided by one fourth, so we're asking ourselves how many fourths are in five? So first thing we'll do is we will draw the fraction bars, so we will draw five whole fraction bars. Try to make them the, roughly the same size. And I'm going to divide those five holes into fourths. Finally, we will count all the pieces that we have in our fraction bars. So we can count one, two, three, and so on. And so we get a quotient of 20 because five divided by one fourth is 20. You can see this is a fourth and we have a total of 20 of them and that's what we were asking ourselves, how many fourths are in five? And here's our last example. The first thing we're going to do is we have three holes divided into thirds, so we will draw our three holes. And then we'll cut them into thirds. Then we'll count all the thirds to see how many that we have. And we can see that we have nine-thirds, so three divided by one-third equals nine. 